Hello there, Ray here, and today I'm going to show you how to get infinite power from a furnace minecart and other interesting behaviors. Before there was any power rails in the game, furnace minecarts came out and were introduced as a means of pushing minecarts along the track. With your furnace minecart down on the rail, you would just have your fuel source in your hand and you'd face in the direction you want the furnace minecart to travel and then you would just right click on the furnace minecart and this would use up one coal and the furnace minecart would travel in that direction. But the furnace minecart was not very useful compared to other contraptions like the booster minecarts, stacked minecarts, and even eventually power rails. When charcoal was introduced into the game you could also use charcoal to power the furnace minecart. But that's not the only way you can move the furnace minecart. You can also just right click on it in the direction you want it to travel. This will also cause it to move, but it won't travel very far. And definitely not as far as if you use coal. You can do this with or without an item in your hand. Furnace minecarts are actually fairly outdated and do not interact with hoppers at all. When you use fuel onto the furnace minecart, you can see that the furnace minecart will actually light up just like a furnace would, but upon relogging, you will see that the, the furnace will actually forget to stay lit, even though it still carries the same characteristics as being powered. Most people use their furnace minecarts to push their minecarts along, but they actually can be used to pull minecarts as well. The way furnace minecarts can attach to other minecarts is pretty finicky and depends a lot on which direction the rails are facing. Rails facing south to north can allow minecarts to set side by side, where ones that are facing east to west do not allow this. So on north to south facing rails you can place a furnace minecart and you can attach the minecart right behind it. But once you power the furnace minecart, it will take off without taking the minecart with it. So to get the furnace minecart to attach with the minecart on a south to north rail, I will just face in the direction I want the furnace minecart to go, and, and I'll click on the furnace minecart, and this will push the furnace minecart into this minecart, and it'll attach. Now I can face in the other direction, and I can fuel it, and it'll take off with the minecart. On a east to west facing rail, you can see these mechanics a lot easier. Because on these rails, the minecart will separate from the furnace. You have to push the furnace into the minecart, and that's where this block back here comes in. So if you push the furnace back into this minecart, now you can power this furnace minecart, and it'll take off with the minecart behind it. The block back here don't have to be solid. You can also use this um, right off the bat by sticking your furnace minecart here and then sticking your minecart here and since the minecart um, cannot push the furnace minecart and it is trapped between this block and the furnace minecart you can power it right away and it'll take off with the minecart behind it. You can also use this to be able to hold other minecarts in place by placing them in between two furnace minecarts. Using this you can actually have the furnace minecart attached to the other two carts without having to ram them against a object. Although a furnace minecart can safely push a TNT minecart, it does not do so well when it tries to pull it. There are many problems with this feature, one being that the furnace minecart can forget which minecart he is pulling along when the chunks are unloaded. Another being that the furnace minecart cannot keep the minecarts connected together by going over a simple hump. It also has trouble taking the minecarts around a curve. You can replicate a minecart derailment by placing down your furnace minecart and powering it while taking it into this type of turn. This will cause the minecart to get derailed over here. Yet furnace minecarts are able to stay connected to other minecarts while taking them down a diagonal set of rails like these. Using this we can push the furnace minecart into the other ones and then we can actually just hop into it and continually sending it off in that direction just by using the use button onto it. This allows us to uh, continually power the furnace minecart and it will pull along the other minecarts. The way you can actually get infinite power out of a furnace minecart is pretty simple. You just place on your two furnace minecarts and then you push one furnace minecart directly into the other one and he will latch onto that one and they will just continue going off in that direction until it runs out of rail. If you want to take yourself along you can just put in your minecart there and then you can just power this one and it will attach up into the front one and then you can um, stop clicking on it and then it'll just continually pull you along. If you instead have your minecart in front of these two furnace minecarts, you can actually have a problem that your furnace minecart will actually get pushed farther ahead than the furnace minecarts will be and it can get out into unloaded chunks so that it will not continually to push you. They're able to take curves and they're also able to go up and down hills. 
In a situation where the two first minecarts will come to an end and roughly stop, they will kind of merge into each other, but they can actually be pushed out of this situation. And if you have a furnace minecart just sitting at the end of this, it actually cause a bumper and causing it to hit it and bounce back the other direction. Interestingly, if you use this furnace minecart trick while crossing over from one quadrant over into another quadrant, this can cause you to move forward and eventually pull up in front of the furnace minecart and get shot forward. Furnace minecarts are very much outdated and they don't even have a GUI so you can't even go inside and add coal to them. And they move slowly and even if they are on a power rails they don't go very fast and they can be um, outrun by a minecart. There you have it, infinite power from a furnace minecart and some other interesting behavior. So if you found this interesting, show me with a like. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment. Bye bye.